Let's focus on the ceasefire talks in Doha now. Sharam Akbar Azda is a professor of Middle East politics at Deakin University and joins me now live from Melbourne in Australia. Thanks very much indeed for being with us. So first of all, I mean, the first day of talks were described as promising by the White House. Should we take any encouragement from that? Well, I think we should always have a positive outlook. Um, it's really important that the ceasefire talks are taking place. So that's already uh, an achievement. But it's really difficult to be overtly optimistic about the outcome. We, from experience, all past uh, cease talk conference, um, conversations have basically fallen flat because um, Israel has either refused to recognize the, um, the findings, the resolution, or Hamas has had objections to it. So it's really difficult to uh, be overtly optimistic, especially given that these talks are being held um, with the exclusion of Hamas. Um, so we don't really, Hamas doesn't really have a say in the terms of the reference, in uh, issues being discussed, its demands on. Uh, the you know uh, population movement, the end of uh, hostilities, so all of those combined mean that it's really difficult to be overtly optimistic. So difficult to be optimistic is that partly because these talks are just so complicated. They are so complicated, but also because we have lost uh, the uh, Hamas representation. You know the. Uh, we don't have uh, we don't have you know, by the assassination that Israel conducted. Now we have a heartland leadership in Gaza. The heartland leadership under um, Yahya Sinwar um, has meant that the um, balance of power has shifted within Hamas, shifted from the leadership outside the country to leadership within the country, within Gaza, and that has meant that. Opinions have hardened, and that has meant that finding a resolution is so much more difficult. Well, I was just going to ask you about a potential resolution, of course, day two of these talks now. What will it take, do you think, to, to find some kind of breakthrough, some kind of positivity? Um, well, basically, I think if the uh, two... If the, talks can resolve um, in um, exchange of hostages, release of hostages, that's the number one issue. Um, release of Palestinian prisoners, another big issue. Um, a commitment to uh, an ongoing negotiation to the end of Israeli occupation, another big issue. Population movement, allowing pop the displaced families to return to their uh, homes is another big issue. There are a number of big issues uh, that both sides see as uh, the red line. So it's important to address those. Sharam, thanks very much indeed for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.